Hello, my name is Tara and I am your geeky hostess. Today we're going to make one of my favorite recipes and it is the portal cake. However, just like how it is in the game, the cake is a lie. We are not actually going to be making chocolate cake, we're going to be making shots. And just like how the cake is a lie, the chocolate is a lie as well, because there's none of that in these drinks. But believe me, it tastes absolutely delicious. So before we get started with actually mixing the alcohol, we are going to create some sugar rooms for our shop glasses that are reminiscent of the portals in the game. So we made some um, blue and some orange sugars to rim the shop glasses with. Really, really easy to make. You just need about uh, two tablespoons of sugar. For the blue, we added about three drops of food coloring. And for the orange, we added about one yellow and one red drop of food coloring. You're just gonna wanna mix that together until the clumps have all um, separated a little bit and it gets back to that sugary, um, that sugary beginning. Grab a lemon first, and we're gonna cut this up so we can rim the, the glass with some lemon juice. It's gonna help that sugar stick a little bit better. Coat that rim with lemon juice. Let a little bit of it fall out. Just dip it right in your sugar. Voila. For the blue, we're going to dip it right into this blue sugar right here. I'm going to roll it around a little bit. Nice and clever. And voila, you have your blue portal. Now that we have the sugar rims all taken care of, chop my hands a little bit and get our alcohol. You only need two different types of liquor for this. You need Frangelico, which is a hazelnut liqueur. It comes in this nice monk style bottle. And either vanilla or citrus vodka. We're going with vanilla today because we want it to just be a little bit sweeter than usual. However, citrus does taste really good. It sounds weird, but I swear it does. Now, for mixing these together, you can either pour them straight into the shot glasses or you can mix them a little bit beforehand in a cocktail mixer. We're going to do that because I want to keep them a little bit <coughs> nice and cold when I get them to my guests. So you just need a couple ice cubes in. And there are two different uh, proportions you can use for this. You can do half and half, um, or you can do two parts from Jellico to one part vodka. I like to get my friends good and liquored up, so we're gonna do half and half, because vodka is gonna be a little bit stronger than your hazelnut liqueur. So, grab a trusty shot glass. I like to use my poisonous pirate shot glass. Make sure your mixer is nice and tight and closed and keep your hand on the top while you're mixing. You do not want your drink flying everywhere. And then shake. Shake until it's nice and cold everywhere. And then you are ready to pour. However, don't start um, handing out these shots quite yet because we're gonna get head back to that trusty lemon over here. Cut some nice thinner wedges that you can hand out to your friends. Because they're not just gonna down the shot. They need to actually um, suck on the lemon right after they're done with it. Surprisingly, at that point, that's when the shot's gonna taste most like chocolate cake. Bottoms up. Amazing. And bonus, the sugar is going to turn your mouth colors. By the time you're about three or four shots in, it's going to be good times for your whole party. 